Okay. So, welcome back to the Brogue Let's Play. It's probably going to look quite a bit different this time because I'm playing in a different terminal emulator. Um, somebody mentioned that it looked different than it does on the official screenshots and on the Mac version. And it does, and I just wanted to show just how much of a difference a different terminal emulator makes. So this should look more along the lines of the official screenshots. And sorry if I'm speaking kind of weird, my mouth is bothering me again. Personally I like the colors on the other terminal I use better, but you know. Teach their own. Figured I'd show this off since somebody asked about it. This was a pain in the ass to get working though. In order to get it to look right, I need a different terminal entirely, and the reason I don't normally use this one for recording is because it doesn't size properly. So it took me like just 20 minutes to get the recording window close, and I'm Still getting a little bit of it cut off at the edges, I think. So this is probably going to be a one-time thing, because I really hate trying to record this. I mean, with this terminal emulator. I like re recording the game, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. But yeah, that's kind of annoying. Also, I completely forgot about... I'm a professional, aren't I? No, no I'm not. Okay. There. I forgot to set my audio up because I was too busy trying to resize the window. I already forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. So, this is probably what any of you who have played the game are more accustomed to looking at. And it is a bit prettier than the other way. I'm not sure how it'll record. It might actually record better. And if I can fix my sizing issues, then maybe it would be better to record with this terminal in the future. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is probably what people are more accustomed to if they've played the game. This is, I think, the default font and color scheme. Should be at any rate. Uh, what? Oh. Wrong button. Accidentally walked right back up the stairs. Apparently there's a monkey around here. There he is. Yeah, one of the reasons I like the other color scheme better is because it's more of a high contrast. So, it's easier for me to... Oh, I can't see it. It's easier for me to see what exactly I'm looking at. I don't know, things just stand out more in the other color, color scheme that I was using. But yeah, this is mostly just to show that different terminal emulators do matter. Not that people on Windows or Mac will really have a choice in the matter. I don't know. Well, Mac... Yeah, Mac users can definitely get other terminal emulators because it's a Unix-like operating system. So you should be able to compile an Xterm or something on it with no problem. But Windows users, I think this is probably all you're going to have the option to see. Which is... I don't know. I mean, it is really pretty. Right? Even though I prefer the other color scheme, my mouse is in the window, sorry about that. Even though I prefer the other color scheme, this one is still really pretty and nice to look at. This entire game is just pretty and nice to look at, to be honest. Oh, it's locked. Okay. So if my voice is strange again, um, if you follow me on Twitter, you know my mouth has been bothering me again. And if you follow me for a little while on Twitter, you know that this is a common problem with me. I'm going to read some of these scrolls because it's what I do. Anti-magic. 
Okay. Shattering. And aggravate monsters. Okay, that's enough for now, I think. What are the odds that that's going to shatter the walls into that locked room, exactly? Pretty poor, okay. But yeah, my mouth problem is now extending to my throat, too. So my voice is all scratchy and disgusting, basically. I put on that banded mail actually. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do that. Actually, no, because that's worse for me than this is. I forgot about that. Banded mail requires a pretty good amount of strength. So, where's the staircase? Okay, I think that's everything I can get here. Looks like it. Because I haven't seen a key, have I? If I have, I missed it. Huh. And there's a statue. I don't think I have another shattering scroll. Yeah, I... Well, I'll try the auto explore option. Where do I see a monkey? Oh, it's way the fuck up there. Yes, I still see a monkey. Oh, that's a good thing to stop for. And now to wait that out. Nope. Still now. Oh, monkey. A pack. It's my brown potion. Oh, I'm right next to the monkey. I'm gonna try to zap the monkey if I catch up to it. Discordant. I don't know what that does. Sounds like it's a good thing I tested it on the monkey and not on myself, but I don't know what it does. Okay, next floor. Oh, I don't know what discordant is exactly. Well, whatever it is, it doesn't wake up monkeys, so... Hmm. It's down here. A sword. It's a very generic sword. And an axe. Can I use either of those better than my dagger? Hmm. I think the sword is better. So... Take that for a spin. And some burgundy potions. I should probably start trying some of these. Actually, what's that potion of E enchantment? Nice, I can upgrade my sword. Um, and I'll upgrade it again, because It'll probably help out in the long run to have a better sword. Oh yeah, what I stopped for in the first place, to try out some of these potions. Ouch. We have some on fire. So, that was a bad thing. Potion of strength isn't so bad, but not what I need right now. Okay, good. That saved my ass. And I'll drink the other potion of strength while I'm at it. Well, I survived, and at least now I know which potions will burst into flame. That's 
good information to have, actually. Because now I now I can throw them at enemies. Because normally when you throw an incendiary potion, it will burst into flame just as if you drank it. Like so. Can I not see the monkey? No, I can't see the monkey. But I can do that. <laughs> and now the monkey's on fire. And burned to death. Now, because that's in a grassy area, the flames will spread and, you know, light other things that are in there on fire, like that rat. So, I basically just killed everything in that room with one potion. Are there any darts left? Yes. I'll give you back my armor. Actually, I upgraded my strength, so how good is this now? A penalty, but it's as good as the armor I have now. So, I'll try it. Couldn't hurt, right? Scroll of Identify. I need to kill 18 more things with that. I think I'll identify one of the potions. There you go. Invisibility. Good. Mm, that seems to be all for this floor. So, next up. Oh, it's starting to heat up in here. I had to turn the AC off because of how loud it is and the fans and such. So it's actually going to get kind of hot in here. But that's why I'm recording kind of early today because I don't want to have my computer overheat while it renders. There's an eel somewhere, I couldn't even see it. Did I go? I went up a floor. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I'm wasting all your time. Okay. Now let's go to the proper staircase. There we go. Okay. I didn't think I would have noticed that sooner. It's murder monkey in its sleep. So yeah, um, like I said, this is kind of hard to get it to record properly, and I like the colors on the other terminal better, so I'll probably go back to that after this episode, unless everybody yells at me in the comments to not do that, so. But, you know, it's just a preference thing. That's my health holding up. Not bad. So, where are you going? You don't even have any... Th that was pointless on his part, I think. Uh, what's this do? Protect armor. That's actually pretty handy for when we start running into more obnoxious enemies. And I'll upgrade I Well, since it's protected, I'll upgrade the banded mail. What does this staff do? Will alter the perceptions to think the target is their enemy. Oh, okay. I think I get ya. So I cast it on a creature and other monsters start to attack that creature rather than attacking me. Um, I'm going to switch to the hammer, actually, because I don't really care if this gets degraded a bit. Back to the sword. I didn't want the sword to get damaged because it's the best weapon I have right now and the hammer is not really that good for me. It's good for assassinating things while they sleep, but it's really not that helpful. It just has too high a strength requirement to be particularly useful. 
And the sword is doing very well. Two mauve potions. And a pool of what appears to be lava. I'm not sure. I think it's lava. Like I said, I'm I'm more accustomed to the other color scheme. So some of these colors I'm just not familiar with. Where are we on? Four? It's not too bad. This is going a lot better than I expected it to actually. I was expecting to get confused by the colors and die a lot. Because I don't really hold myself up to a very high standard. Because I'm bad at roguelikes. I just have fun with them. Uh, Pit Blow, I would rather not fight you. But since I'm going down a floor anyway, I guess it doesn't matter too much. I'm running out of darts. I am out of darts. Okay. I'd rather not jump down a pit when I can just walk down the stairs. Just seems like a better idea not to fall down a hole. Uh, I can't tell if the right side of the screen is getting cut off. That's where I was having the most issue, sizing it. Because it has a scroll bar and scroll bar seems to think it's part of the window that I want to record, when it's very much not. Um. Oh. Okay, well. Now everything's all trippy. Good to see how different the colors are, at least. What are you? Crimson Potion? They're... Goblins? Toad. Maybe? Nope. It's like. I have no idea what these things are. Uh, yeah, I'm. I was expecting some of those to be bloats, but apparently they're not. A phoenix? I somewhat doubt there's a phoenix here. We seem to think there's a phoenix here, but I don't think the game would throw that at us this early on. Uh, you're now familiar enough to identify it as plus one. Nice. So abandoned mail is actually better than I anticipated it was, I think. Yeah. Because it acts as if it's plus zero by default. Which is still better than what we had. Yeah, our armor's already up to plus eight. Wow. Ugh. Right, I'm gonna throw a hallucination potion at that. Oh, it doesn't actually work. I don't know what those were. I don't know what any of these are because I'm still hallucinating. Apparently I'm getting hit by lightning bolts from this thing. Um, I don't know what the thing was. It's not particularly fun though. Okay, I'm flying. Oops. Well, good thing I had the potion that lets me fly before I did that. Oh, detect magic. And that means this is bad, and that's bad, and apparently the hammer is cursed. Or something. It's got some magic on it. Oh, that might actually just be from the 
Why is that? From the slime. And a scroll of aggravate monster that I'm going to apply here. Yes, I know what it does. I just want to get it out of the way. And I'm going to nap here while the bloke comes after me. I'm just going to throw a hammer at you. Am I still levitating? Yeah. I don't think I want to take advantage of that, though. Okay. Nap time. Okay. Back to full health. Good. Good. So, is there anything else of interest on this floor? Yeah, there's an entire segment that I haven't explored yet. Okay. Well, down there then. Pit bloat. Oh. Well, down we go. Ow. Okay, this is protected, but our weapon is not. Ooh, okay, that was a bad idea. So I'm gonna switch to the dagger and fight this acid thing. Um, let's see, I have that staff of discord and a potion. Um, I'm going to go invisible and run away. Apparently I can't. This goblin is hunting me. And I guess it can smell me or something? Is hunting though, so it doesn't know exactly where I am. Well, it does, but it shouldn't. And I died. Shit. <sighs> okay. Well, that's all for today, folks. Nope. Recording elsewhere. Okay. Bye, folks.